Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I will be installing the Dr. KDSS switch on my 2018 Forerunner. For those that don't know, the Dr. KDSS basically acts as a sway bar disconnect, you could say. Um, it allows more travel off-road and also I've heard it basically feels like airing down your tires without having to air it down. But yeah, it's a huge improvement and a good solution for the KDSS 4Runners. And yeah, so let's get to it. All right, so here it is. Here you have the main wiring system to connect it all in. Dr. KDSS there. And you can find them on Instagram at Dr. Underscore KDSS. And then you have got your switch, you have got your um, T-tap wires and connectors, a couple zap straps, and then also your fuse put in. But yeah, that is all this kit consists of and everything else you got right there in the Forerunner. So yeah, let's get to it. Definitely move the seat back because you'll want as much working space as possible as we will be getting right in underneath here. All right, so what you wanna do first is go above the gas and brake pedal and you will see this white connector. All you wanna do is go to the top of it and there's a little um, push down button. So push that down and then pop it out. And then once you get that switch out, you want to grab your connector piece and make sure you put it in slowly as there's a lot of tiny little spokes in there. You don't want to damage them when um, installing the connectors together. And then you hear a click and then you got that first part connected. So once you got those two connected there, you want to go ahead and grab the next white um, power source and plug it back into the original spot up top where you just took out the previous um, white connector. And here a click and then you're good to move to the next step all right so once you have those first couple of wires connected you want to turn on the dash and make sure the kdss light is not lit up so you see it there and then it popped off i'll show you there again so when you turn on the car you'll see the light just right up here and then it turns off so we're good to move to the next step all right, next you want to take the wiring harness and you want to go above the steering column and if you can, the next wiring harness even above that. Um, you want to tuck it up in there so it's right out of the way and put it on the left side of the brake. And then once you have it on the left side of the brake here, on this bracket on the opposite side, you will want to zap strap it down. But just make sure you are careful because some of these edges are pretty sharp, so you don't want to cut yourself. So for zap strapping this to the left uh, brake bracket, you want to make sure it's facing down. And also these wires for connecting the rest of the switch, you want them on the um, outside, so facing out from the brake.
right, there it is, nice and snug. Next, you'll want to head up to the far left side to this fuse box, and you'll want to remove this 10 millimeter bolt, or at least loosen it enough to fit in the black ground wire that's connected to the um, wiring harness. Next, you want to get started on the dash. So to remove this lower section, you want to start on the right hand side. Just put your fingers behind it if you can, and then just pull it out and just work your way along to pry it all back. And then you got it opened. So on mine, I have my defrost button here. You want to remove the blank switch that's right next to it. So by doing that, there is a little button on the top and bottom. You want to pinch them together and then push it out. Just like that. So you got the blank switch out now. Then you want to take this long red wire that's connected to the wiring harness and you want to actually cut it in half. So on my install, I made a bit of a rookie mistake. What you want to do is take the red wire from the KDSS harness and that goes to the green wire on the dash switch. Using the red wire you cut, connect the red wire on the dash switch to the fuse which plugs into the fuse box. All right, and there you have it. Then you want to go ahead and grab this out of fuse and you want to go one, two, three. The fourth one down will be blank and then you can connect that there. All right, there you go. So once you have all of those wires connected, you want to disconnect this from the switch and then you want to feed it through the back of the panel and out the blank hole. And at this point, you should only have the blue and the black wires left. Once you have fed this wiring through, you can go ahead and connect the KDSS switch up to it until you hear a click. And then you will want to remove your defroster button by going on the back and then you pinching the two sides on the top and the bottom. And then you can easily see that where you have to push it down on the back of the wiring to pop that out. And Toyota seems to be changing wiring on different years, but for the instructions of what I have is connect the blue wire to the green on the defroster and then connect the black to the gray. And if you have different color wires back here, um, just reach out to Dr. KDSS on Instagram and he will be able to help you out with that no problem. So you will want to take your black and blue and you will want to take your two wires here to tap into the defrosters. And then you want to go ahead and grab your tapping wires and just put them back here. Got 
one green one. I'm gonna tap that right into there. Close that up. And grab the next one. For your gray wire. Do the same. Close that up. Oops. There you go. And then you can go ahead and connect these guys to them. So you want to do blue to green, just pop that in there, and then black to gray. And there you go. So once you got the wiring all hooked up, before you go ahead and snapping this all back in, let's make sure it works. on the dash click it on and there you go there's your little KDSS light so now we have it disengaged and then click it again and now it's gone all right now that we know that it's all working you can go ahead and put the wires back in tuck them in nicely however you want and you are good to go that was actually a fairly simple install. It can be a little bit tedious in some areas, maybe. Um, but this was my first wiring job ever, doing it all by myself. And I did it. So I am very proud of myself for being able to do that. And yeah, if I can do it, you most definitely can. So we got all the wires tucked up nice in there. Might have to just zap strap that one back, but all nice and clean got the switch all up and yeah all right guys so that is it for this video thank you very much for watching the install on the dr kdss switch and this was my first wiring job ever just by myself usually i get somebody to help me out because i'm a little bit nervous on it but um yeah very proud of myself for being able to do that so that's awesome if i can do it you can do it so go ahead and grab yourself a switch i'll put the link down below to his website and also if you have any issues with the install feel free to reach out to him on instagram at dr underscore kdss he has very very straightforward instructions but if you do need a hand he's more than happy to help you out and also please consider giving the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel too as that will help me out a lot and I will have lots of install videos and adventure videos coming out this year. So hope you enjoy and have a great day. Catch you next time.